Let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Manifestation of the Sons of God Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the Supernatural Teacher. First lesson, then Matthew chapter 23, verse 8. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1. Golden text, Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Quote, Brethren, the purpose of your gathering this night is to receive the words of God. You should, therefore, listen attentively in order to receive the words of life. I do not wish to overload you with a long sermon because this is the commencement of our Pentecostal assembly for the end of the year. You have heard the first and second lessons and the golden text read to you. Call our personal teacher, Father, our Lord. A great many people do not understand the real meaning of brotherhood. Since they neither know the Father nor the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ has told us in unequivocal terms that we should not address any person as teacher or father or Lord because we all are brethren. So brethren, here lies the target which the whole world is aiming at. Our Lord Jesus Christ died in order to deliver us from the bondage of slavery and sin so that we may become the sons of the soil. You, have no lo you are no longer a prophet. You are no more a pastor or an evangelist or an apostle, but you are now a child of God. From the foundations of the world, what should have been considered as the highest degree of honor is the attainment of the sonship of God. Angels came and were known of men and they performed their duties. In the same token, the prophets, the apostles, the evangelists came and also did complete their assignments. But the expectation of the whole world waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. You have heard about false prophets and you have also heard about deceitful apostles. You also hear about some shepherds who are hirelings. But have you heard of false children of God or deceitful children of God? This explains why the whole world has been eagerly waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And that is why our Lord Jesus Christ has given that injunction saying, Love ye one another as I have loved you. And so will every person know that you are the children of God. He has also redeemed the whole world to himself. When he said, you are the children of God, why has this not been revealed? It is because the injunction of loving one another is far from being, from being possessed in full by mankind. Our warfare is based on the claim of being the children of God. You all are true witnesses to the erroneous claim by the worldly people that God begets only one child. The, the claim does not lead credence to the words of the Holy Scriptures. The scripture has jealously maintained that people are waiting to see when the children of God will be manifested. Our Lord Jesus Christ has not revealed that God has only one son. He has many children. That is why he exhorts, saying, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and 
Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may resemble your Father which is in heaven, for he sends his rain on the just and on the unjust, and makes his sun to shine on the evil and on the good. The angels are maintaining their positions because angels had existed. Prophets, apostles, and evangelists all have, all have been existed. The only position which remains to be filled is that of the children of God, which is not yet revealed. This is the expectation which all angels, all prophets, apostles, popes, all evangelists, pastors, reverend, bishops, and the archbishops wait to witness the manifestation of the children of God. This expectation is borne out of the fact that the children of God do not tell lies, they do not steal, they do not hate, they do not commit murder, and they are neither pugnacious nor discriminatory. The children of God have to rule, protect, maintain, and superintend over the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof. They employ love, truth, mercy, humility, patience, lowliness of mind and meekness, happiness and joy to rule the world. Love qualifies you for this kingdom. The name appears very small and infinitesimal before your mind and eyes. But this work is what makes you worthy of him. It is love that qualifies you for this kingdom. Apart from the children of God, no angel rejoices. Neither prophets, nor apostle, nor a reverend, nor a pastor has any form of joy and none of them is required. This is so because the apostle is telling lies. The evangelist is stealing. The Pope is committing all sorts of vices, and the angel is joining others in their immoral act of fornication. Only the children of God can refrain completely from all manners of sin because a child must, of necessity, resemble his father. Today, you are aware that pupils in the school have no regard for their grade two teachers. They cajole their teachers and abuse them Why they have not yet gone to study in the university that their age grades have already graduated. It is difficult to find pupils who obey their teachers. The grade one teachers have also become laughing stock to their pupils even though they have their own position, yet are they not regarded by their pupils as we continue to climb the educational qualification echelon? Ob we observe where the various categories of people are placed. The holders of the first degree, BA or BSc, have their own positions. Holders of the MA or MSc have their positions higher than those of the first degree. The PhD holders and professors appear to be on the highest echelon and other categories need not speak when they are speaking. The divine arrangement in this kingdom follows a similar pattern. The position in this kingdom does not depend upon noises, make, does not depend upon noise making or high sounding grandiloquent English or any other language, nor is it based on long flowing garments with the name Jesus and other names inscribed on them. It is, not, it is rather based on love. Do you possess love? The children of God are the only sons of the soil in the kingdom. 
This kingdom belongs to the children of God alone. It does not belong to the angels or other phenomena. They have been before ordained to rule over all creations of God. Remember the utterances of the two thieves crucified with our Lord Jesus Christ? One of them told him, Lord, remember me when thou comest in thy kingdom. And our Lord Jesus Christ told him, Verily, I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Now is the time the children of God are destined to rule. The world is in great sorrow, and heaven and earth have been shaken to their very foundation for fear. Finally, before you attain the height of professorship, it will cost you not only money but also time and energy. To become a prophet, one has to forsake sin. If you do not refrain from all manners of sin, you cannot become a prophet. Before you assume the position in the presence of God, you have to abstain from all forms of sin. If you have to fulfill all these conditions before you are given these inferior positions, how much more the position of the sonship of God? If you are not a child of God, it means that you have neither accepted the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ nor practiced his teaching. It means also that you are not with him. And our Lord Jesus Christ says, Whosoever is not with me is against me. Whosoever does not gather with this, with me scatters abroad. If you claim that you are not a child of God, it stands to reason that you are an antichrist. It means also that if you have no love, you are scattering abroad. And nothing qualifies us for this kingdom except by possessing love. No matter how wealthy you may be, money-wise, that cannot make you a child of God. No matter the number of prominent children you have, that does not qualify you as a child of God. Your acquisition of multiple doctorate degrees and your appointment as professor of several faculties cannot qualify you for the sonship of God either. That is why I always tell you that the term brotherhood is not understood by a great many of you. To be called a brotherhood is one thing, but the function of brotherhood is quite another thing, and it is where complication sets in. To be a down to earth brotherhood means that you have to love the brethren indeed all human beings in the same way throughout the, throughout the world it is said whoever enters the house through the window or any other entrance is a thief and a robber brotherhood is love whoever professes to be a child of god a brotherhood but he is a thief a liar a fornicator a person who indulges in the preparation of concoction he is a thief and a robber and not a child of God. But whosoever possesses, but whosoever passes through the main door into the house, such is a good shepherd. This means that whoever possesses love loves every person in the same way. Whether such persons are evil or good, white or black or colored, but as love towards all persons of a truth, such is a real brotherhood. Why I continue to impart the lessons on love to you from January 1st to December 31st is that this is the only lesson which hitherto has not been imparted to you. You had been awarded with the lowest degrees but the highest degree and qualification which makes you a child of God is the lesson on the efficacy of love. If you deny that you are a brotherhood, what are you? 
if you do not want to be called a child of God, whose child are you? Brotherhood means the children of God, and the children of God are spirited children. In fact, that is what you are, but if you have no love, can you realize that you are deceiving yourself? If you do not love every person as our Lord Jesus Christ loves us, if you sow the seeds of division and segregation, if you do not have equal regard for all, it means you are not brotherhood. Our Lord Jesus Christ is love. Our Lord Jesus Christ has taught you about brotherhood. He is brotherhood. He is the Son of God. Who loves every person in the same way regardless of color and position. He was not identified as the Son of God because of raising the dead or making the lame to walk. But he was identified as the Son of God because he loved all in the same way. No person can become a Lord, but brotherhood is the Lord. No person can become a teacher, but brotherhood is the only teacher. And no person can become a leader, because brotherhood is the only leader. The die is now cast for our Lord Jesus Christ to assume his reign both in heaven and on earth, and the children of God who are with him from the beginning of the world must also rule with him eternally. As you had struggled in the past to get money, beget children, pass your examination, struggle in the same vein so that you can become the actual child of God who is in this kingdom, if you profess to be brotherhood, your behavior, your ways of life must be commensurable with your claim. Brethren, I do not want to continue to overload you. Our first lesson will now be read. First lesson, St. Matthew chapter 23, St. Matthew chapter 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi. For one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Brethren, who has spoken these words? God is speaking. It is said all of us are his children, all whites, all blacks, all colored, all babies, all infants, all adults and old men. And all babies yet unborn are the children of the Father. They are all brethren. Why is this not made manifest? It is because the inhabitants of the world have no love. This is so because all phenomena, all elements, all angels, all men, good or evil, even Satan know that God is love, mercy, truth. He is also humility. Every person, including a small baby, knows that God does not commit sin. Every person knows that our Lord Jesus Christ is love, he is the truth, he is humility, he is righteousness, he is meekness and lowliness of the mind and peace. No person can argue that this assertion is wrong or that Jehovah God and his Christ do not have these attributes. This explains most conclusively why somebody denies that he is the Son of God because our Lord Jesus Christ was the only Son of God and that he is human. But whenever you mistakenly claim to be a child of God but you commit theft, you will be referred to as a child of God who steals and they will not and they will hoot at you anytime you claim the sonship of God but you commit fornication people will ask you if God fornicates right now in brotherhood of the cross and star a great many people are arguing that certificate should be given for special seal 
You are special seal used to identify members. Have you not seen the identity, the certificate, the seal? These are not written physically. The identity of the children of God is love, which is not written. It is not unloosened. Neither is it inscribed on one's dress, but it is the expression of love. Whether you are wherever you are, or whether, whether in London or in America or in India or Russia, once you show the expression of love towards one another, then it is the love of God. Love, the gateway to the kingdom. What I tell you is, what I tell you now does not imply the church or the school or the prayer house or the village or the city. Neither does it relate to the black nor the white, but the implication is that all those who love the brethren are begotten of God. If you like, preach the contents of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation of John the Divine and quote as many passages as you can, but if you lack the attribute of love, you are not a child of God. You may be a very good visioner, able to know the time God created men when he did not create the whole world. Or if you do not love all men, you, your vision is vain. If you have faith in such an ex if you have faith to such an extent that you order that the mountain be removed from hence and taken to another place, raise the dead, make the lame to walk the blind to see and the lepers cleanse and manufacture something to fly in the sky. But if you have no love, you score zero. There is therefore nothing else remaining behind, whether in vision or in reading the Bible. What remains to be done is love. And when you have it, you pass into the Father's glory. Some of you here were prophets in the past generation, some were angels, some were apostles, some were elders, and some were reverend gentlemen, but seize this opportunity to help yourself and pass into the position of the child of God. Some teachers are holders of only the first school leaving certificate, and they are usually abused and cursed by others. To avoid the embarrassment, to, to avoid the embarrassing situation of being disgraced, they took common entrance and gained entry into the teacher training college. After passing through, they take courses, gained admission into the university, and at the end, they graduate. So it is in this kingdom, if the position you occupy therein is not satisfactory, struggle to assume the position of the Son of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ had told his apostles, If you do whatsoever I command you henceforth, if you do whatever I command you henceforth, you henceforth, I call, if you do whatsoever I command, you henceforth, and I will call you not servants, for the servant does not know what his Lord does, but I have called you friends. He also told them, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever commit sin is the servant of sin, and the servant does not abide in the house forever, but the son abides forever. There is no place left for servants and slaves. Why a great many people are afflicted with sickness, death, poverty, and wretchedness, beset with punishment and problem? Why they go to war and lead an abominable life? In the sight of God is because of sin as they have not yet assumed the position of the sonship 
of God. That is why you are advised to be perfect in your heavenly, to be, to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. If we do not show ourselves as the children of God, what is our use? This is so because no other position can give us life, peace, and bring salvation to the world. We have prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors, reverend, bishops, as bishop and pope, elders and deaconesses, but none of these can save us except our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That is why a great many of you complain that you have problems. Yes, whoever commits sin has problems, but if you have love, you have no problems again. We are all brethren. All the whites are our brethren. All the blacks and colored are our brethren. All men and women are our brethren and children of God. As the children of God, we have to love ourselves. If you had known the meaning of the word brotherhood, you would not be intimate with somebody's wife, you would not steal, you would not tell lies to your fellow human being, you would not be exasperated, you would not impute sins on any person, and you would not work evil towards any person. The word brethren, which has become a household word in this kingdom, is invariably brotherhood. It does not relate to the it does not relate to the patrilineal or the matrilineal descent, which is very limited. But the unlimited brotherhood includes all the creations of God, angels, spirits, animals in the bush, birds in the air, fishes in water trees in the forest and creeping things are our brethren you should therefore not do anything harmful to any of the created things men and animals are brethren you remember the day you remember the vision of john the divine when he saw the angel he fell at his feet to worship him, and he told him, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This explains why we eat no meat, why you should not kill any fish or animal or bird or lizard or any other thing because they are all your brothers and sisters if you do not have to kill any of these how much more a human being if you kill a human being you have erred grievously have you not heard that in the beginning men and animals live together they were all brothers and sisters. There was no killing of fish or animal or bird or serpent because all of them were brothers and therefore no creature devoured the other. Who created you and who created the animal? Was it not God who created all? Who created you and who created the angel? Was it not the same God? Who created water and made this fire? Was it not the same God? Who created heaven and earth? Is it not the same God? What is now your relationship with them? Are you not brethren? The conglomeration of these created things is the brotherhood we preach.